Hi, Sam here with CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultants Express Tip on View Rotations. Here I'm in a 3D model of a bridge and I want to change the rotation of the view. I'll go to my view rotation. Notice I'm in dynamic for the method and I have this large plus sign. I can pick that plus sign up and move it to a certain location lock it onto an element in my model and that freezes that point which means that point becomes the rotation point. So as I click and drag my mouse it rotates the model or excuse me rotates the view and that point stays in place. You can tell in this particular view that the camera is turned on because at the far end of the bridge the girders appear to be closer together than they do at the close end of the bridge. I'm going back to my view rotation and change the rotation to a top view. You'll notice that the alignment does not fall directly under the bridge. That is again because of the camera. In a perspective view, items that are further away, such as the alignment which is displayed at elevation zero, appear smaller than items which are closer, such as the bridge. Therefore, they don't appear to line up. If I go to my view attributes and turn the camera off, you'll see that, that the alignment lines right up with the center girder on the bridge. Well, let's say that I want to rotate the view so that the bridge is horizontal to the view. I've got several different options, one of which is I can use a key in to do the rotation, which means that I need to know the angle at which I need to rotate. If I say RV equals, then comma, comma, because I want to rotate about the Z, this particular example needs to be rotated approximately 22.2 degrees. Select the view and it rotates it. Well, if I don't want to have to figure out the rotation angle, I have other methods. If I go to my rotate view and set the method to three points, I can choose three points defining first the positive X direction and then the positive Y direction of what my view should be. So first the positive X, I'll give it two points, then the third point for the positive Y. But you'll notice it flips the bridge upside down. That's because of the elevations of the points that I choose. If I want to lock all of my points onto the same elevation, I can go to settings, locks, ACS plane snap, which is the replacement for the depth lock. Back to my rotate view by three points, give it three points, defining the positive X and then the positive Y, and it rotates the view to where the girders are horizontal. Another option for that particular type of rotation is rotating by element. I'll use a key in for this, rotate view element, and since the alignment is what I want to be horizontal, I can choose the alignment, accept it, and it rotates the view so that the alignment is horizontal and therefore the girders are horizontal to the uh, view. This is based on the positive X being the direction of the element. If I'm not sure what direction the element is, I can key in change direction, choose the element, and it draws an arrow on it showing me the direction, and positive X is left to right on the screen. If I want to change the direction of the element, I click it changes the arrow to the other direction and therefore the element is now reversed. If you're in a 2D file you can also use similar rotation options only your method here 
would be by two points instead of three points. And you can still use the rotate view by element. Thanks for watching. Please visit civilcadconsultant.com for more microstation and inroads tips.